is sleeping, all is peace, and I'm still hanging round in a house that's filled with lights, walking through a midnight wonderland. The wise man keeping watch, now it's midnight, and though it's cold outside, we're staying everybody welcome back to my channel it has already been a day isn't it so funny that you guys just see a cute little morning kind of montage and you don't know that I'm like around what's the um Nicki Minaj thing that's like <laughs> running around throwing shit around trying to get the day started that has been my day so far so it's uh 3 30 but did we expect anything more from me no it's fine I feel like I just have to tell you guys what time it is because in like literally a few clips it's gonna be dark and you're like what the heck so I feel like I gotta let you guys in on that little detail you know anyways we have a pretty busy fun filled day today first things first I got a call this morning that I can go pick up my car I'm so excited it has been so long since it's been in the shop I have missed my baby so bad so I'm gonna go pick her up hopefully it looks all nice and brand new I also got my clothing rack in the mail if you guys heard me talking about it in previous vlogs if not you guys will see it all today I want to put that together and hopefully go through some of my clothes Clothes, put some stuff up on Poshmark. I'm thinking I'm Superwoman because it's already 3.30, but we're gonna put it out into the air and try to get it all done. I also want to show you guys tonight that like creamy pasta dish that I've been making. I have the um, sweet Italian sausage defrosting right now. It's so yummy and so easy, so I'm so excited to share that with you too. Zane is gonna be in the studio all day putting finishing, I keep saying finishing touches, but like finishing touches take a few days, you know? He's gonna be working on the Christmas song today, so he'll be working away in the studio. And yeah, that's pretty much the rundown for today. I just got ready. I feel so good when I just get ready for the day. It makes me feel so much more productive rather than just sitting in my pajamas, you know? So I feel good right now. This top is from Princess Polly. It's a little crop top. I bought it with shorts, but but I won't be wearing those right now because it's a little jelly. And then my pants I am wearing, yes, I'm sitting on the toilet, it is closed. <laughs> I'm wearing my Lululemon joggers. I'll show you guys in the mirror in a minute. Before we get into this video, I did want to talk to you guys about my toothbrush. Now, I don't know if you remember, but literally all the way back in April, I told you guys that Zane and I were trying out a new toothbrush. We've always used just like a basic, boring, not electric, like comes in a pack of five toothbrush. You know what I mean? Like a plastic one. And so when we were like, let's try try out an electric toothbrush. I was like, really? You have to charge your freaking toothbrush? Like, what a pain in the butt. But I kid you not, since April, you guys, we have charged it once. I thought that you'd have to charge this damn toothbrush all the time. I'm like, I'm using it twice a day, so I'm gonna have to charge it so much. No. And so I wanted to bring it back up to you guys. The holidays are coming. It's a really great gift. Zane and I have used it every single day since we got it. We're obsessed with it. And like I said, just the charging is just such a huge plus for me because I like things that are very simple and easy and I don't have to put a lot of effort into it. <laughs> so here it is. We're partnering with Brio again today. And I was so excited when they reached back out because genuinely Zane and I always are like, oh, this toothbrush is so good. It was literally game changing going from a little plastic one to this comes with this little charging station and like I said you'll only have to use this like twice a year maybe three that's pushing it but it comes with three different heads that are affordable you don't have to break the bank they have a smart clean a pro clean and an X clean I just had the little sample pack right now I have on the smart clean but I did use the X clean for a long time and I love that one every time I use this toothbrush I genuinely feel like I just left the dentist it gives you healthier gums I swear my teeth have gotten whiter since April and I don't do any white whitening treatments on my teeth. Like, I feel like they look pretty damn white. <laughs> there are five modes, so when you hit this button, it actually lights up and you can see which one you're on. I use the polish, and that's how I feel like my teeth have been so white. It goes super, super fast. So you just guide your toothbrush on your teeth and you just let the Brio Smart Clean do its job. It's super durable and there's no cost cutting in terms of the motor and the battery. So it's super reliable and the design is really nice and modern as well, so. 
look good while doing it, right? So with all that being said, there is a two year warranty and they have amazing customer service. And the best part is the convenience of the head subscription. So when you need it, it'll come to your door like clockwork. And honestly, you guys, this is something that you owe yourself. Spend a little extra money on something that will last long and something you use literally every single day, I hope. <laughs> So if you guys want to check it out, they do have a 60 day money back guarantee. If you don't like it, you'll get your money right back. So go ahead and check it out with the link in my description and use my code for a special offer. You'll love it. Okay, I'm about to go pick up my car now. I'm so excited. My dad is actually taking me because he wants to come, you know, him and his cars. Make sure everything's good. Got my dad with me and Zane's working on the song anyway. And I really want to finish that too. So best of both worlds right here. My two favorite men. Um, <laughs> Here's, uh, that's what I was showing you. What my outfit looks like. Okay, I'm just going to put on cream sneakers. Because my dad's outside and we got to go. Ow. <laughs> Ow, I just smashed my hand in the table. Okay. These are my Adidas sneakers. I need glasses. I need to drive my car home. I need to be able to see. Where are they? These will do. Okay. God. It's freezing outside. Actually, per your guys' suggestion, you're not going to be able to hear me because of the damn wind. I ordered chair covers and a cover for the barbecue, so we got to put that on. I accidentally brought the lock with me. <laughs> Look at her. She's beautiful. You're amazing. Wow. I've never yeah. seen it so clean. <laughs> I know. I haven't gotten a car wash in a long time. <laughs> oh, look at her. Well, this wasn't the broken one. Oh, oh my baby's back. <laughs> look how clean she is. <gasps> I love her. Oh my God. And they detailed the inside, you think? They did? Oh, yeah, look at it. Oh, I can't wait to see. Okay, let's go inside. That's a sexy car for a Honda, I must say. It's right here. It's so sleek looking. Look at this. Your vents. Oh, it's gorgeous. We got it, ladies and gentlemen. They detailed it. I haven't, I haven't cleaned this car in a long time. Come look. Oh, what's oh that my God! Oh, they got your fire is shiny. Oh, <gasps> she is clean. You gotta give them props. Sanson. Oh yeah, that is awesome. Oh yeah, you guys. Right here, no look. Where? My oh, <laughs> Sandstone Auto Body. My dad's family friend. If you guys need anything done, they will hook you up. Tell them Al sent you. Tell yeah. them Al sent you. <laughs> They'll know. Let <laughs> me get him to move the car. Well, it's fine. You can come sit if you want. Okay. It's so funny. I always say like, if you want to see the Long Island Italians, you got to either go to an Italian restaurant or an auto body shop. And that's when you'll like oh really, right mom? It feels like when you just bought it. If somebody was coming to um, Long Island yeah. to see like, the real Italian Long Island. Oh, right here, baby. You gotta go to an auto body shop or an Italian restaurant. <laughs> and you'll just come, or a deli, too. A bagel shop. Yeah, you want a bacon, egg, and cheese. <laughs> Thank you so much, sweetie. Don't you wish you could have someone come clean it every so week for you? beautiful. <laughs> I know, I actually think I'm gonna um, get a car wash subscription. I saw one that was $20 somewhere. Yeah, and you can go like three times a month, I think. Oh, oh like you can go whenever you want, I thought. I don't know. My lipstick is gone. I look like a foundation you lipstick. Back. <laughs> I know, I'm so happy. All right, I'm home, and really quickly, we're just gonna cover up the rest of this stuff because it's so damn, so cold out. I ordered all these covers on Amazon, by the way, so I'll add them to like our outdoor section. Oh, it has a little bag, that's so cute. On my Amazon store is what I meant, the outdoor section. You know what this thing should have? What? It should little have like a flips. cinch at the bottom so you could like- That's what it. this has, it flips. All right, I'll see you inside. <laughs> It's so cold out. I'm so glad I did the rest of this while it was warmer. It's freezing out. What is this for? The, the barbecue? barbecue. <gasps> so if this one has straps too. How am I supposed to get this Velcro piece to you? I think it just goes on the back. Okay. Barbecue is now covered. Now we have these two chairs. Somebody said that if snow gets on these, they'll like start to cave in the wicker and I definitely don't want that to happen. When did you eat? Oh, uh, I had a protein shake after I worked out. You wanna do an early dinner or a late dinner? How is yours open already? Not fair. I don't know, it was just open. Uh, early dinner. And probably we're not gonna eat together. I'd rather just like keep working on the song. Okay. <laughs> I should have worn my cool jacket. I know. You didn't even get to show it off. Oh, yes, you did in, in the last vlog. So do you just like pop right over? Good. I hope I got the right size. Yeah. 
this Christmas song, you guys. It's taken up a lot of my vlog time. I just sat in the studio with Zane for so long. It is literally seven o'clock. I am so hungry for dinner. We're gonna make dinner and then hopefully I'll have some energy to get some stuff done. But I literally just sat in there for so long making like finishing touches because he wants like my approval on some things, you know? So that took a while. Um, tonight we're gonna make this creamy pasta that I've been making. It's highly influenced by HelloFresh, so I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. Um, I have the little card right here. I just make it on my own. The dish that I am referencing and taking inspiration from is their pork sausage, rigatoni, and a creamy sauce. I'm doing tortellini. And yeah, I'm gonna show you guys how I do it. Very, very simple. That's why I love this. So, cutting board. I'm gonna go in with one bell pepper. I'm gonna rinse it. And we're gonna cut this bad boy up. I like to cut my pepper right down the middle and then I literally just take my hand and scoop this out into the garbage. I have seen chefs like go around in a circle and make like one large thing. I still need to learn that. <laughs> then we just cut this up into strips. I try to make them pretty thin so that they just cook faster. <laughs> Especially right now, I'm hungry. By the way, that pumpkin pie that I made, I had a cold slice this morning for breakfast and it was so good, or this afternoon rather, and it was so good. I liked it way better cold than warm. I think in the last vlog I said I, it was like okay, but I definitely like it cold. It was pretty good. Oh, before I finish cutting this, I'm gonna get my pan heated up, just a medium skillet and some olive oil. There's about a teaspoon. Okay, so those peppers go in your heated up skillet. Not heated up yet, but you yeah, get the point. <laughs> I just do it until they're like softened. And then I also already meal prepped the other day some scallions. I love to just chop them all so that they're done. This is like a um, vacuum seal container. And then this time I tried to separate the whites and the greens kind of. So like on this side are all like the whites because right now that's what I want in here. Good kind of chunk of some scallion whites. I'm gonna do a little bit more, put however much you want. All right, I'm also gonna prep up some tomatoes. You could totally use Roma tomatoes. I'm just gonna use these little cherry tomatoes cut up and I'm gonna cut up 15 of them. Anyways, while well, this is going. So yeah, I spent a lot of time in the studio. I also got a lot done um, hitting up my graphic guy. He is totally down to make a lyric video, so that's gonna be really cool. I'm gonna make a Pinterest board for him tomorrow. And then I also was talking to my photographer, Monica, about a photo, and we're gonna see if we can get it done on time, because Zane and I are planning to submit this song for approval within the next day or so. And so I don't think we can change the artwork after that. And I have a photo shoot scheduled with Monica in the beginning of December. So I just don't think it would add up. So I was like messaging back and forth with all of them. I actually got to post on Instagram too. So that was productive. And I responded to some YouTube comments. That was good too. But just got distracted sitting there and whatever. But I'm so excited you guys. Like this song turned into like not just a cover. Like this turned into like a whole ass original. Like I cannot wait for you guys to hear this. Like we turned it into its own song basically all we took was the lyrics you know what i mean and the melody a little bit but we did switch some things up and i don't know i'm just like as excited as i would be for an original if that makes sense so i hope you guys get hyped up for it i'm very 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 pumped i'm even more pumped for this dinner though let's go <laughs> i'm just throwing a little bit of salt and pepper on top of these peppers all right our water is boiling so i'm gonna add in the tortellini we're gonna do three cups total i want to have like one and a half cups each so here's one two and three now we're gonna add in our sausage to our peppers these went for about 10 to 15 minutes i would say probably more like 15. now i have two links of i think it's called premio premio sweet italian sausage i'm just gonna take it use my knife go ahead and slice down it and we're gonna remove the casing and then put it right in the pan. And obviously this is for two people, so you would adjust if you're making for more. Again, I'm gonna slice very carefully. We don't wanna cut ourselves. That wasn't the best slice in the world. I didn't get through enough. Oh, the other one was so clean. There we go. Okay, now the sausage, we're just gonna break it up while it starts cooking. And of course, we're gonna make sure we go in with a little bit more salt and pepper. I always season when I add a new ingredient. And as you can see, our tortellini are floating. That means that they are done. Tortellini only needs to be boiled for two minutes. It doesn't take like 10 minutes like a, a regular pasta would. So they finish super duper fast. That's what she said. All right, the tortellini is going in a strainer. I'm telling you, you guys, I learned this from HelloFresh and I have not stopped making it. It is so good. My mom is obsessed with it too. I made it for her and she came over the other night and I made it for Zane too. And he was like, this is so good. And it's so simple. I really do learn a lot of tips and tricks from HelloFresh. 
Like what else did I steal from them? Oh, the carrots. Their carrot recipe is just so good. All right, the sausage is browned and cooked through. I put the heat to a low, and now we're adding in our tomatoes, just for literally like one to two minutes. Okay, now what I have here is three tablespoons of Neufchatel and three tablespoons of light sour cream. I just try to do like even amounts. This time I want it extra creamy. Usually I just do two tablespoons of each, but I wanted an extra one in there today. So we're just gonna throw that all in and we're gonna let that melt into everything. Also, this is where mine is a little bit different than HelloFresh. They also add Parmesan and butter in this step, but I just omit that. I do like to add though a little bit of lemon juice. I don't usually measure this just by eye, put some in there. All right, now here I find that it's a little bit thick, so I add just a little bit of water. That was about an eighth of a cup. You could also reserve pasta water, that would be good as well. But see how it turns it like a little bit more saucy and creamy. If you find that it's too thick, you can go ahead and put some water in there. I'm actually gonna put even a little bit more because we're covering a lot of pasta. I mean, come on, tell me that doesn't look amazing. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and toss our tortellini in here you could do any kind of pasta i did this the other night with my mom on top of raviolis it was delicious and we're just gonna nicely coat these all in here like how easy was this you guys come on also i want to add too that when i made this for zane the other night <laughs> i made it for him with some chicken breast i sliced it up super thin and small and i cooked that and it was like so delicious as well but um today we're going with the sweet italian sausage it is so good but this is so customizable like you could do chicken you could do any type of pasta and there you have it you guys the flavors are all marinated together i'm gonna take this off the heat we're gonna plate it up and put some scallions on top <gasps> i forgot there was water in that and voila oh my god you guys this is so freaking good you could totally add some grated parm on top right now if you want i don't feel like it's necessary i mean obviously the more cheese the better but it's just as good without it zane is still working in the studio he wants to eat while he works to get this ish done grind time so we're gonna eat separately today Thank you, babe. You're welcome. I am gonna sit my booty right on the couch and enjoy a YouTube video. I'm so pumped to eat this right now. Before we do that though, just a little taste. Sorry, I know the lighting in the living room has been crappy lately, but it's just such a vibe with the Christmas lights. I don't wanna turn on the real light. <laughs> I know it's so stupid. Okay, a little bit of everything. Make sure it's as good as usual. Mm, I did top it with a little bit of salt. You gotta give it that, that last oomph, you know? I also forgot to salt and pepper it in the pan. We were supposed to do that after I mixed it in tortellini. So if you don't do that, top it with a little bit of salt. You are good to go. This is so good. Please try this. Yeah, can you hear me? Not me staying on TikTok for way too damn long. <laughs> way too long you guys i just it's addicting i should probably delete it but i'm not going to because it brings me laughs and smiles but i'm committed to you guys and even though it's kind of late at night we're gonna build my clothing rack because i want to build it I'm not gonna be lazy i'm building it out here just because there's way more room than in our bedroom this is gonna be have to be what this is gonna have to be a two-parter we're gonna build this today and maybe put some clothes on it but the day just got away from me today. I really messed myself up in the morning by having to upload, but then also wanting to film. Like whenever I do that, I mess myself up. So if you guys are familiar with the little corner in our bedroom where we have like um, a body length mirror, I'm gonna put this clothing rack there because it'll just be very helpful for me. Hi baby boo. So this one that I got is just a black metal one. I'll link it down below. Excuse me, get off. <laughs> Why isn't it coming out? That's what she said. Whoa. I feel like this should be really easy to build. I feel like I read that on the reviews. But I also read reviews on a million of these clothing racks. So it could be not this one. It's a lot of poles. Okay. Oh, literally the part that's gonna take me forever is just making the bottom. And then it should be easy. Wow. Look at all those screws.
She is so cute. Tell me this is like not so my aesthetic. I love the black industrial vibe. I do need to tighten everything still. It said to build it and like don't tighten everything in case something was wrong or whatever, you know? So I still have to go through and do that. I'm like, oh my God, out of breath. I'm gonna grab a little drink. Not an alcoholic one though. That made it sound like I was grabbing a beverage. I never thought I would be this bitch, but here we are. I have been drinking LaCroix. I'll admit, if you follow me on Instagram, you already heard me talk about this. And I got a lot of DMs that were like, ugh, I hated that flavor. But you guys, I'm just looking very scary today. It's been a long day, okay? So I got hooked on this because of Lauren Geraldo. I love her, she's like literally my favorite YouTuber. And she put in her video that she has been enjoying sparkling water, but in a mason jar with ice. And I was like, see, that's something I can get jiggy with. Like drinking this out of the can, no thanks. But with ice and a metal straw in a mason jar, like, I like my drinks to be super cold. Like when I drink water, it needs to be ice cold. Like don't give me no room temperature water. And this is so refreshing. It is like a little bit sweet. This is the limoncello one, by the way. It's a little bit like vanilla sweet, I would say. It reminds me of when my dad and I would get at the diner when I was young, we would get Coke with vanilla syrup in it. And that's kind of what this reminds me of. So you take your mason jar. Fill, I mean fill that baddie with ice. Now the thing here is you have to drink it quickly, otherwise you'll have watered down sparkling water. But the coldness is so refreshing. Like literally filled to the top. Don't look at my dirty counter. I haven't cleaned it since dinner. Are we ready for this aesthetic right now? I gotta get you guys a good shot. Ready? metal straw, get that ice floating to the top. Oh my God, you guys. Add a shot of vodka and you're, no, just kidding. <laughs> Since I'm now a fan and I understand the hype, you guys have to comment your favorite LaCroix flavors. I need to know. I'm pretty sure I saw that there was a watermelon one and if that's true, I need it like right now because that is everything. Oh my God, it's so good. I usually don't like carbonated things, but this is like so light and airy. I don't know how to describe it. Mm. So refreshing. I want to try the watermelon because I have these. Like I love watermelon flavored things. Like these fruit bars are to die for. What is going on with my lighting today? There we go. These outshine bars are to die for. Like watermelon flavoring is so good. Also, I got to try the lemon and lime one. Zane drinks those all the time. We have a stack of the lemon ones in here. But he doesn't like this limoncello one, and I do, so I'm like, I will drink this right up. Isn't it so cute, too? Oh, I love it. Okay, you guys, everything is tightened. I just went and took off all those um, ugly white letter stickers that they label things with. And it feels nice and sturdy. It looks so cute. Like, I love how simple this is. I'm obsessed. I want to go see how it fits. I wonder if I'm going to be able to fit the mirror with it. I don't know. We'll see. It's not a good space for the mirror, anyway, because there's no good lighting but our bedroom is a mess because i've been wanting to organize and clean it here's our corner of catch-all <laughs> i'm thinking maybe uh we'll discuss that all when it goes here all right let's get this crap out of here and then we'll put it here i'm so excited right now yay i'm gonna take a video of this corner just in case well, first let's get this stuff out of here. Here's what it was kind of supposed to look like before. It was all messy. I'm going to take a video of it just in case I want to make a TikTok before and after. Could be cool. Now we're going to move this stuff out of here. Oh, now I'm ready. We got that thing built. I was procrastinating building it. Let's get this ish going. I took a break to put on some fuzzy socks. Now I look really hot. Okay. I'm going to vacuum. <laughs> I did my measuring right, put some clothes on it, be good to go. So what I was gonna say is maybe because that 
black bin that I had sitting over here was where I kept like our sheets and such. I have to go through them because we honestly just wash our sheets and put them back on. We don't really need a million things. So I have to see what's actually in there. It is good for when guests come and whatnot. And also when I sleep in my tanner, sometimes I use like our gray sheets. But anyways, maybe I can do like low baskets on the bottom here to put that in instead of having that. I don't know. We'll see. Or I might use it just to fold up some cute stuff like sweatsuits and stuff something that takes up a lot of room in the closet but my plan for it right now is to have just like newer items to keep in my sight so that I know I have them because sometimes I forget to wear stuff so let's just see how that looks let's just start doing it Bella can you turn on that lamp for me thank you so much <laughs> so we'll start with this dress I think I want to wear it on Thanksgiving and even if I don't I do want to wear this because it's so cute oh that's string <laughs> that's that's a cat hazard that's what we call a cat hazard tie it up in a bow before it catches their attention that should be good but Bailey's a little sneak so this is a haul that I just recently did with Princess Polly so I have a, not, a lot of new stuff from them and I can make it look cute in like color order maybe and all of my hangers are black felt so it'll all be aesthetically pleasing and I know some of you guys are probably like why didn't you just have DIY dad like extend the closet I just don't want to invest any more into here you guys like I want to buy a house within the next few years so I'd rather just buy a clothing rack because I feel like this will always be useful I need to put my hair up I'm not feeling myself right now hang on okay my makeup's all over the place my hair's all over the place it's late at night you guys um I'd rather I would rather just buy a rack like this because I feel like I'll use this all the time, like even in our future home when I have my own little office, I'll put this in there, you know? And to have him like build it all out and then it wouldn't even really bring that much more space than a clothing rack, you know? We have this corner, you can't really see it when you're just looking into the bedroom, it's kind of hidden. Oh, she's got the string! <laughs> I spoke too soon. Give me. Thank you. No string. Here is another cute little white crop top that I got that here. I feel like this is just make me more excited to get dressed to go nowhere lately. We've got a bodysuit, some little tank tops. So this is what I was thinking for like the bottom rack because things like this when I did a haul with White Fox I got a lot of big bulky sweatsuits. This takes up a lot of space in- oh my god. <coughs> Why? Thank you. This takes up a lot of hanging space because it's big and bulky in the closet. So why not fold them because they're sets anyway. I'll most likely wear them together. And they'll look aesthetically pleasing on the bottom here. Hopefully. I'm thinking maybe some baskets to hold stuff down here would be really cute. Because the cats are probably going to mess with this. That is pretty cute though. Not going to lie. This literally makes me feel like I'm at a store. Like I feel like that's why it's so exciting. I feel like I'm shopping in my own clothes. It's the season for all time. Walking in our midnight wonderland Everything is calm, now it's midnight Wow, looks like a store. I know, that's how I feel. Hey, I'm gonna just take this one <laughs> and this one. Yo, this is sick. Looks cool, right? Yeah. I think it looks fine. No, it looks really cool, actually. Oh, I'll take it. I'm kind of jealous. I want to do this. It's kind of cool, right? Yeah, this is dope. I put like a bunch of pieces that I like, sh like I want to wear, you know? Yeah, this is this and literally looks like a store. These are all my matching sets. Yeah. Not Ooh. all of them. I'm so jealous. <laughs> you want a clothing rack now? It's sick. Yeah. Yo, what a good, like, find this rack. I know, it's nice, right? Okay, all of this is very subject to change, but here's how I have it for right now. First of all, I'm just obsessed with the thought of this. Like, I already feel freer. <laughs> I got rid of those two hats because I would quite obviously, very clearly, everybody knows it, would never wear them. So, <laughs> I put them over here. This is all like my donate slash Poshmark. My thing with Poshmark is I know that things will sell so much better if I put them on and take a picture, but that takes so long, so I've just been procrastinating doing it because there's no point of me wasting my time just taking it on a hanger. I've tried it, it just doesn't work as well. So I gotta get on that. That takes like a whole day in itself. Anyways, I put two purses right there, and then I hung all of my pieces that I either just recently got in or I was like, oh my gosh, I forgot this has been hiding in my closet. I wanna wear it more. I just hung it up here. Some of the stuff is new, some of it I've had for a little bit, and then down here are all of my matching sets. I'm pretty sure I have like maybe one or two more in the closet, but I think this is fine for now. So subject to change, I may possibly put my jeans and sweatpants down there and instead 
hang my sets together because my jeans and sweatpants have always been very hard for me to see so what I did right now is I left all my sweatpants here this used to be jeans and sweatpants so it was like super jam-packed I could barely even move the hangers so I put my jeans over here it doesn't look very pretty I have to like redo them but I feel like I don't wear them as much because I don't see them, you know? And so that's why I'm thinking maybe folding these two things and then hanging my sets right here could be useful because I feel like things like this should be more visible. Set is like, oh, I know what that is as soon as I see it. Does that make sense? I don't know. I kept my jackets down here. I moved this hanging organizer, which I have to empty out and just get rid of, but it used to be over here. So I moved it over there. Right up front here are my little tank tops that I wear as bras. I very rarely wear a real bra. <laughs> so I want these like super accessible right in the front front of my closet. I found this really cute hanger, so we're gonna keep her there. This is where like my new stuff would usually go, but again, I think I'm gonna keep it hanging right here so that I know that I have it. And then I just kind of reorganize this. I always flip flop the closet. So during the winter, we have all my sweaters up front and then like tank tops and dresses in the back. So I kind of just like switch that over. We have like my sweater sweaters and then we have hoodies and crew necks. And then it goes into t-shirts crop tees, tank tops, skirts, and dresses. And I got rid of a good amount of stuff. Look at all these hangers, you guys. That is beautiful. And so a lot of stuff has made it over here. <laughs> I gotta figure out where I wanna put this mirror. I'm not too sure yet. Maybe for Black Friday, we'll get a TV and get rid of this circle mirror and then put the mirror right there and get rid of the cat stand because they don't even use it that much. Or cat tree, rather. Food for thought, food for thought, we'll think about it. I'm definitely going to use this mirror, though, and put it somewhere. I just think a mirror next to a mirror looks funny. That's why I wouldn't put it there with this. And also, a TV would be very nice in here. I wonder what Zane thinks about that, actually. Yo, babe. Yo. Would you want to get a TV for Black Friday for the bedroom? No. No? You don't think Only we'd because... use it that much? Yeah. Really? I feel like we would. Like, lay down and, and watch something? Or I could, like, lay down in bed and put on YouTube? Aren't they, like, super, like, cheap right now? I mean, they're relatively cheap. It's like 300 bucks, probably, for like a good size one. Mm. Um, I don't know. I feel like it could be nice. We don't need one that big. I think about it, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. I just feel like we don't really like need it. Like we won't. Need I, we don't need, need it because we have the living room. But would we use it? I feel like yeah. No. No, we're not. And I know why. Why? Because you'll fall asleep every. <laughs> We tried watching Queen's Gambit last night. Oh yeah, we room, never updated and you on it. In the first 15 minutes, if it's in our bedroom, mm. no shot. Well, You're like, what about up. like morning Sundays? We can watch something. Like, we don't even have to get out of bed. We just keep the remote next to us. And we can just turn on the TV. That's so cool. Mm. I vote yay. You think about it. Anyways, yeah, there's just a lot of possibilities of how I can switch things around. I also have a basket right here with socks in it, so maybe that can go over here. Maybe I can do all baskets on here. I don't know. You guys give me your thoughts. What do you think? Did I do a good job? Should I leave it the way it is? I guess I'll see once I start wearing stuff if it's more practical. Oh my god. I need to go to bed. It's also hard to gauge because we're not living a normal life right now. So I don't know what I would wear if I was going out more often. You know what I mean? So I don't want to get rid of something. But if we were like leaving the house a little bit more and Zane was able to do shows. Like I have like club-ish outfits that I used to wear when we would go to shows. Like tight skirts and such that I kind of gotten rid of. Because it's like it was, we had, Zane hasn't done a show in so damn long. So I don't know. It's hard to decide what to keep. Did I not wear that because I don't like it? Or did I not wear it because I had no where to wear it to. Mm. These are COVID questions that we need answered. And so it begins, my little pain in the butts. Is this gonna be your new cat bed? Also, I realized there was a stain on this, so I need to spray that and wash it again. I didn't realize last time I washed it. Benjino, what happened? I love you. We're testing out a humidifier because it's been so damn dry. And Bailey is loving it. It's just water. There's nothing else in there. But you can put essential oils in this one, actually, which is cool. Do you like it? Are we going to sleep better tonight? My lips have been so chapped. My throat has been so dry. We are definitely hitting winter time. And my hands, too. I need lotion, like, all day. Isn't it so funny how in the summer we're like, ugh, it's so humid. And now we're like, give me the humidity. It's so dry. I'm cracking everywhere. Although, I haven't really felt the dryness yet. I can feel it. My lips are so are bad. cracking? Yeah, they're so bad. And my hands, man, like, especially because you wash them so much now. I feel so dry. And my throat has been really bad, too. Mm. That was pretty funny. She was, like, just giving herself a facial in there. All right, you guys. So, yeah. 
There's the finished product. I feel like it looks really good. It does. I really big fan. Big fan. Big so when we when we here. buy a house and we have our own offices, we can both have a clothing rack in there. I mean, hopefully we could just have like a really big closet. A giant closet room. Yeah, that'd be nice. What? Yeah, but like this, I can take with me anywhere. Like it's just nah, this cool. Is really cool. Yeah, I love it. Super good. Um. Also, ask me how everything is full, and we both have an overflowing basket of laundry. I don't know what's going on there. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, that was like part one. <laughs> Next is I have to post this stuff on Poshmark. I also want to go through under the bed. There is so much random crap under there that we definitely do not need. So that'll be another day though. All right, I'm dipping you guys. I'm gonna make myself a little bag of popcorn and I'm gonna go to bed. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's vlog. Thank you so much for watching. Today's notification shout out goes to Teresa DeNaro. She says, pick me. I have a burning question and I always have my notifications on for you. I'll even search for you sometimes because my YouTube doesn't show me your videos. My question is, you see why are you doing me like that? My question is, how does your family and friends feel about you recording a good bit of y'all's lives? I imagine it's hard, but please don't stop because I love you. She says y'all, but it doesn't feel natural for me to say it. I love you guys. <laughs> I'm from Middle Island, New York, but moved to Florida. Where's Middle Island? Is that upstate? Where? I think it's by, like, Staten Island. Oh, okay. I think. Hold on. Middle well, her name is Teresa DeNaro, so I would assume so. <laughs> She's definitely, like, near Staten Island. Anybody named Teresa? No. Oh, we were wrong. Middle Island is out east. That's where it is. Oh, okay. Yeah. Middle Island is out east by Medford and Corum. Oh, okay, okay. Sorry, Teresa, for assuming where you live. Um, okay, how does your family and friends feel about you recording a good bit of your lives? Uh, I don't think they mind at all. Obviously, we have days and certain people in our lives that don't want to be on camera. I don't film a lot of people, and a lot of people are like, please don't put me on today, and I'm like, totally have to respect everybody, of course. Like, I wouldn't want to do that, like, for me either. Like, if Zane was a vlogger and I'm not, I don't want to be on camera that day, like, I don't want him to put me on, you know? So, I try to keep the camera on myself and keep, you know people out of it um the people i'm really comfortable with is like my mom and dad obviously and my mom will definitely have days where she's like i don't even want to be on camera which is totally fine but i guess in that sense like they care like they don't want to be on it but it's like do they care that i'm filming my own life no and like if they did then i'm sorry but it's my life you know what i mean in the nicest way possible. Also, before I go, you guys, don't forget to check out Brio. All the links will be down in my description, and there's a special offer for you guys as well. Anyways, thank you for your question. If anybody else would like a notification shout-out, comment down below letting me know the notifications are on, and you might be in my next video. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all next time. Bye, guys. Everything is calm.